because right now I'm cutting it. There's cutting it close, and then there's cutting it close, close, and that's what I'm doing right now. What is up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. I really don't know how to start this video. I was really torn in between making it like a like update in my life type of video for my subscribers and I guess like all the two people that care <laughs> about what's going on in my life. But then I was also thinking of making it like more of a informational video um, for people who are interested in being a flight attendant. So we're gonna take both and just kind of make it work. I'm not gonna make it like super personal, um, but we are gonna sprinkle a little bit of like my life in there, you know, salt bay. Instead of salt, it's like my life. <laughs> I am infamous for like starting a vlog. Um, and updating and like getting everything and then I'll just like randomly stop and forget and then Where's the update? Where's this? So like I'm gonna be going back and forth between like actual raw real life I guess footage and then me intercepting um, And kind of giving an update of where I left off before the next clips Starts and I'm like vlogging again like nothing happened like I didn't just forget to update you guys in the midst of things so Bear with me. I like this angle a little bit better, so we're gonna just readjust a little bit. But yeah, so long story short, this is where like the little personal, I guess, update, life update comes into play. I was very much TikTok influenced. You know how you get influenced to buy like Amazon things or like a pair of jeans, this, that, no. I got influenced into a whole career by TikTok. I somehow landed on flight attendant talk and I was so, I was like, I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. Like, this is the perfect job for me. I love traveling and I get paid to do it. And then on top of that, like all of the great content, all of the vlogs, like it goes hand in hand with me, like loving to create like content and like be on social media and like YouTube videos, travel vlogs, all of that. Plus I'm getting paid for it while I'm doing it anyways. So yeah, so that's how it happened. I literally probably watched like two YouTube videos about it afterwards, like just to kind of get more information. And I was like, yeah, I'm sold. So then I started the process. I applied to like every major airline in the States that had uh, positions uh, open, like their application window open. I really didn't want to do like the original airlines. I wanted to just go ahead and start with, uh, you know, one of the big airlines. And I recommend that you do the same if you want to be a flight attendant because the process can be kind of lengthy and then you might hear a no. And then you waste time having to like reapply when you could have kind of been working on both of them or three whatever how many you apply to at the same time every like airline will have a different process a different timeline of when you're getting responses to and you, you know what i'm saying like basically don't put your eggs in one basket just go ahead and apply to all of them so i applied to spirit delta united and american those are the four airlines that i applied to um and you're gonna see in the video the process for all of them the only one that i don't talk about is delta i'll go ahead and tell you i submitted my application i got an invitation to do like a little survey and then from the survey like they were like you know a thanks but no thanks type of thing um where they just didn't want to move forward with me but all of the other airlines i did move forward with i got two cjos from two of the airlines and one airline, I'll talk about it later, why I decided I stopped the interview process and decided not to go forward with them, but I'll talk about that. If you do have hand tats or any like neck visible tats that, um, you know, are typically not allowed in most workforces, each airline kind of has their own rules of what they accept. For example, Spirit and American, they would have allowed me to obviously be a flight attendant. Um, I just had to cover up with makeup and at no time could they be shown? Certain airlines don't allow it at all, like even being covered with makeup. Um, so each one's different. That's just something to keep in mind if you do wanna apply. I ultimately decided that even though I got the job with two airlines, um, not to pursue it. Just personally, like from a financial point, like I really didn't realize that flight attendants do not get paid that well, or I guess that much, especially at the beginning, like obviously, like most jobs, the longer you're in, you know, you get promoted or you get a pay raise, such and such. Uh, with flight attendants, they basically like start, here's the ground and you start here. Like it's a very like eye awakening pace, especially coming from like being in the nightlife and making a certain amount of money. Or even like before when I was in the military, like you still make like a good amount of money. And the flight attendant pay was just, 
if you've done research into or you're here because you want to be a flight attendant and you haven't done research i please do research like the airlines are super transparent with what you get paid hourly and what you could expect to get paid um but it's yeah i don't know like i think this would be a perfect job for me if i was younger didn't have the bills that i have i have big girl bills and like that's just not like a big girl paying job at the beginning would not be financially smart or even doable for me to like go into that job with the lifestyle that i live now and that i'm trying to maintain like i understand you know you can make certain sacrifices so this is not to deter nobody um because you can make sacrifices so yeah ultimately that's why i decided not to do it so yeah let's just hop right into the first airline that i heard back from and got scheduled an interview with and all that which was spirit now i know what everybody thinks about spirit but surprisingly like i feel like working for spirit is not as bad as like flying with spirit i had a really positive and good experience with the whole interview process and the staff and everything but yeah i don't want to make this like intro too long so let's just go ahead and roll straight into the clips all right it is the morning of my flight so i look a little bit crazy right now i woke up yesterday feeling a little like with a bit of a scratchy throat and today now i have a little bit of a runny nose along with the scratchy throat and i'm like just my luck so i'm gonna go get some medicine before i go to the airport to hopefully like combat this so yeah we'll see uh just my luck but the best part of all of this is that the interview is in orlando and my mom lives in orlando so i really like don't have to bring everything that i would need because i know she has it and i'll just borrow hers first things first my laptop i'm still doing like research on like interview questions and all that stuff and really trying to prepare for this face to face if i get the cjo obviously i'll go ahead and do a video of what i did to prepare because it worked all right y'all so today is wednesday the day before my interview i got into orlando yesterday which was tuesday i just spent time with my family i'm in my mom's house now and now i'm just kind of just mentally preparing and getting everything ready for tomorrow I am feeling a little bit better. I've been taking medicine. I feel like I'm just kind of like in the last leg of it. So hopefully tomorrow I will be brand new. If not, I plan on bringing a mask just for like the safety of others. The interview is at 9 a.m. Um, but they do want you to be there early or they advise to be there early. So honestly, I think I'm going to leave here maybe like 7.45. It's about 25 minutes away from uh where my mom lives a my mom is letting me take her car so just kind of you know get in the right headspace and everything i went ahead and uh, printed out my resume which is one of the mandatory items that you have to bring i have my passport upstairs which is also another mandatory thing to bring um and then my id obviously i'll have with me i think that's all that we're required to bring i'll like double check on the email so i joined uh one of the facebook group pages for like aspiring flight attendants uh i think it's called let me see flight attendant career connection that's what the facebook group is called but the person that owns that group her name is abby she actually has like her own like workbook course as well as like she does like a monthly kind of like membership thing that's separate from the facebook page um that was like 47 dollars a month not really sure what that like what she does in those things um probably it's more of like a one-on-one -on -one coaching thing but i did purchase she has a workbook that is like 38 dollars i believe and it just has like a bunch of practice questions so i'm printing them out right now actually let me show you it's like a 70 something page uh workbook it's still printing it just has a bunch of questions that uh I guess are common in interviews uh tell me about a time you went above and beyond for a customer and did something outside of the regular scope of your work um just a bunch of things like that they also have like situational questions but like i said it's in like a little workbook thing so you can write out your answers obviously you don't want to memorize your answers so you don't come off kind of like a robot but you do want to already kind of have i don't know i'm terrible with like on the spot questions so this is good for me because it will kind of help me at least have an idea of what i would like to answer so i'm going to go ahead and like fill these out now just so i have an idea of 
what I would answer and then tomorrow if they do ask me certain questions I already have the basis and I could elaborate more once I'm you know in the spot it also comes with like different things like how, what to wear how you should do your makeup hair uh, just a bunch of different tips to like really make sure that you do good on your interview it also tells you how to do good in like your virtual interview it has like all the airport codes uh so that way you can start practicing them and remembering them so i don't know i feel like it was worth the money i feel like anything that's like makes you better or puts you ahead of the game is definitely like an investment in yourself like you can't go wrong with that i'll put the link to this workbook in my uh description box down below that way if you are interested in being a flight attendant and you also want to check this out it'll be helpful for you and yeah so this is basically all that i'm gonna do tonight i don't know how i'm doing my hair tomorrow yet because i know they say they kind of would prefer it up but i just also they say wear it what makes you more comfortable or more confident i mean and for me it's definitely wearing it down so i might just wear it down like this and then obviously not too much in my face and then just wear it like to the back instead of having it like like this i don't know we'll we'll figure it out in the morning um like i said it's at 9 a.m i'm gonna try to be there by 8 a.m yeah i guess that's the only update that i have for today i'll catch up with y'all in the morning all right y'all i'm not a morning person at all <laughs> um but i'm gonna try to power through this it is 5:48 a.m I was supposed to wake up at 5.30, but I hit snooze a couple times. But here we are. I unfortunately did not go to bed until 1 a.m. last night. I wanted to be in bed by like 10, 10.30. And then on top of it, I don't know if I mentioned, but I do have my virtual interview with American Airlines today as well. So today is going to be a little bit crazy. Anyways, I am to stop blabbing because now it's 5.54. All right, my hair is basically done. Um, just put in some rollers to add a little bit of floof and blah blah boom. Um, now let's move on to makeup. All right, I am actually doing pretty decent on time. It is now 7:12. All that I have left to do, I have to put on my lashes, um, and then cover my hand tattoos, and then get dressed, and then be outy. I try to go like simple with my makeup but still like have makeup on so i did my full like base as far as face um but i try to keep it as simple as possible in the eyes just a little bit brown in the crease a light um or like a skinny little wing and then now i'm gonna apply these lashes they're really like kind of simple and thin i just wanted to add a little bit of volume to my natural lashes and yeah i I'm somehow finessing this. Kids, just don't get a hand tap. <laughs> just make it easier on yourself. It's covering up pretty well though. Obviously, like this has to like oxidize and I feel like it's gonna blend in better. Um but it's not looking too bad. Alright, yeah, one hand done. One to go. I'm running not tight on time, but I should definitely be on the road right now. It's like 8, 8 11. Um, I have my Alani for energy because it's going to be a long day. And uh, my little brother's little pretzel goldfish. You know, we're running off of energy and vibes today because <laughs> I do not have time to eat a good breakfast. Don't be like me. This is the fit. You can't really see much like this, but. Just white shirt, gray suit, and then little Calvin Klein pumps. The suit is from Zara. The shirt is from H&M. Um, for jewelry, I decided to go ahead with just a little simple necklace, little gold hoops, and one ring, and my watch. Um, whew, I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. Let me... Start the car. <laughs> Let's see. 23 minutes. So if I leave now, I will get there at 8.35. Okay, perfect. At least 30 minutes 
early well around there all right cracking open my alani i brought up ooh, a bottle of water as well um mm. and now we're ready for the road let's go just made it the nerves are definitely kicking in a little bit um there's a lot of people here already um i'm gonna go in here i obviously doubt that i'll be able to record anything in there but i'll let y'all know how it goes afterwards all right bye y'all see y'all on the other side hopefully with good news if y'all see me crying no i'm just kidding i'm not gonna cry but yeah see y'all on the other side y'all Ooh, let me put y'all back up here Your girl got the job. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I did not eat my goldfish beforehand. They had water at least. There's not really a place to eat. Like, you could, I guess, step outside and have, like, a snack. But I didn't feel comfortable, like, busting out some goldfish in the middle of this, like, waiting room. So, definitely eat beforehand if you're trying to do this process. But yeah, oh my god, I am so excited. I was so nervous going into it. The questions i feel like i answered them perfectly like i don't know if the questions just weren't hard or if i was prepared i think it's more so i was prepared because obviously there's people who we do a group interview and some people kind of fumbled their answer or just didn't sound confident um and i think that's when practicing the questions really comes in handy so i guess that's like a piece of advice if you were looking at this video not so much to catch up with what's going on with my life but you're interested in becoming a flight attendant and you have a face-to-face -face interview or just even a virtual interview uh practice the questions definitely think of what you could say in certain scenarios the practice questions and also be very confident when you say your answer yeah it was a long process like i got here what at 8 45 i showed y'all and it is now 2 20 so um it's basically a lot of waiting around for those who kind of want to know what the process is like obviously i'm not going to disclose any questions if you want more like personal one-on-one -on -one advice you can definitely dm me on instagram so i recommend getting here as early as possible just because it is a very lengthy day like i said my interview was at nine was scheduled for nine to start at nine and it's 2 21 yeah so you get here, you get in this long line of people basically registering, then they just verify your passport and ID um, and your resume. I don't know when they sent me in the orientation room, what time it was. I didn't get called for the group interview until 1045. And in the orientation room, basically they, they have somebody up there like speaking, they have a slideshow that basically just gives you more detail about training, what it's like being on reserve, the pay breakdown. Um, and you really just get to ask questions and don't be scared. I asked like five questions in orientation. I'm not in the orientation room. I'm not going to lie. Oh, my camera's about to die. I don't know where I left off. Okay, I'm going to talk really fast. Orientation, ask questions. Don't be afraid. Um, you do the group interview, then they put you in a waiting room. Basically from there, they if you're already a hard no, they'll call you out in a group or individually and tell you that. Um, if you do go to the next step, you get called for a one-on-one -on -one interview basically you kind of tell this more where it gets more personable uh you tell them about yourself why you want to be a flight attendant things like that obviously like smile be very friendly then after that you go back into the waiting rooms and then they'll call you out if you got selected or not in groups or again by yourself and then from there you do your fingerprints and then kind of like background information and then that's it and you're done for the day you start getting a bunch of emails to start like onboarding and stuff like that they did tell me that i'll find out what training class and all of my details in like about two days but i'm gonna stop it now because my battery is like literally about to die any moment now i'll check back in once i do my virtual for american airlines here in a little bit we're getting ready for the american airlines let me see how i could probably okay that might be oh terrible angle but okay throwing this back on at least from the top half i have leggings on in the bottom i decided to go with the ponytail this time around um look at this setup i'm dead you <laughs> put my laptop in the ironing board that i used this morning um this is like the quietest spot um in the house right now so let me cover these <laughs> numbers but this is basically what it's gonna look like just a white plain background um as little as possible i could probably get another lamp in here but i think this is good enough 
that's it that's how i am setting up for the virtual interview all right ladies and gents i am back in houston now i realized that i didn't do an update after the american airlines uh virtual interview i think it went well um but i guess i won't know until i hear back from them i'm hopeful i'm positive that they're gonna send me a uh, invite to an in-person interview it was about like 20 to 30 of us i didn't really count with um two hosts i guess or two people from american airlines you have to like just stay smiling at the camera the whole time while everybody's talking you know just looking engaged um but it takes about an hour my cheeks were definitely hurting at the end from smiling i have to do a, a urine test for spirit for the onboarding process so that's what i am gonna do now at this building somewhere in there um already did all of my like onboarding paperwork last night even though i am pursuing um other airlines i still want to go through with the whole onboarding process and if anything like drop out um and cancel i guess my my entry submission offer whatever <laughs> All right, y'all, so a little update. It's been a couple days since I got back from Orlando now. So today is October 18th, and I got an email saying that I am clear for takeoff, uh, which basically just means that everything went through, the background check, my um, drug test, obviously. All of that stuff is cleared, so I am good to go for the November 21st start date um, of class. I'm actually now about to do another virtual interview. Uh, this time it's going to be for United. This is my little setup. I wanted some natural lighting to come in. And then I have this light over me to get as much lighting as possible. I decided to go ahead with uh, just a white shirt for today. This is what I wore on my spirit interview. And I went through and got a CJO. So I'm just going to call this my good luck shirt. For my hair, I just decided to do like a little half up, half down hairdo. I'm still waiting to hear back from American. I don't know how that one went. Usually it takes around five days is what I'm seeing. It's like the average. So I feel like sometime this week I should hear back from them. Whether, you know, it was a thanks but no thanks. Or they decide to move forward with me. We'll see. But yeah, let me go ahead and do this interview. Okay, so chiming in just to give you guys a little update because I stopped recording after that. I have my like little notes with me. So on October 19th is when I found out that I got invited to do a face-to-face -face with American in Dallas. Um, and then United, I did end up getting invited to a face-to-face -face, which was here locally in Houston where I'm at. Uh, but I decided not to pursue them because they did have a strict policy on like no hand tattoos not even covered now technically i could have gone on to united and tried to finesse my way and just covered it anyways and hope that nobody saw it or could see the makeup or you know i don't know i just didn't want to go through that trouble of like eventually down the line somebody found out um or you know they saw that it was makeup and then i ended up getting fired or you know i'm in training and i get sent home and i just wasted my time for no reason i don't know i don't like like lying or like trying to like deceive or something like especially like something as big as your job so yeah i decided to not continue pursuing that now this next footage will be of me in dallas for my face to face with american for american they did fly me out they pay for your flight to fly out to the interview you do have to pay for your own like hotel or wherever you're staying if you're gonna get a rental car or if you're gonna be ubering all of that's like on you but they do pay for your flight spirit on the other hand i don't know if i mentioned it but spirit uh you do have to pay for your own flight and your own stay which is why like it was super helpful for me um that my mom lived in orlando because obviously i stayed with her now in dallas like i have my friend jade that i'll be staying with you'll see her in this next clip but yeah it's super helpful knowing people in this city so that way i didn't have to pay a hotel because like imagine paying for a flight and hotel just to find out that you didn't get the job tragic but it's just you know the nature of the game uh, and it's just kind of a risk that you have to take if you're interested in becoming a fire attendant. Well guys, I finally made it to Dallas. I landed at like 8 a.m. It's already 5 p.m. But somebody forgot to start vlogging, aka me. I'm with Jade, who if you watched my six month post-op video that I just posted two videos ago, um, she was featured in it for like a quick little 10 seconds. We were going to uh, Villa's room. No. Yeah, I mean, we did go there, Trace. but it's the one, uh, 
the kitchen and cocktails. Yes. Yeah. So I just posted that today that you're in there for like ten seconds. Yeah. I didn't yeah. see that. Okay. No I'll have to, yeah. So, um, she reminded me that I need to start vlogging. So here we are. My interview isn't until tomorrow on Tuesday, but I had the option. The American gave me the option to either fly in the day before or the day of, since I know people here in Dallas. I decided to go ahead and come in the day before just so chill, relax. Um, so I'm staying with Jade and we're gonna go ahead and go to SDK. They just opened one in Dallas. So we're gonna do a little happy hour there and then we're going to the Mavs game later tonight. The interview isn't till 2 p.m. tomorrow. So I mean, I'm not gonna stay out all night, but I am gonna enjoy myself. Are you excited for SDK? I want you to know that we talked about this and she went yesterday without me and she couldn't wait. But <laughs> doesn't matter because we're here now. Okay. We're gonna just, <laughs> just get yourself off and dust yourself. What is it? Dust yourself off. Dust yourself off and, off and try again. <laughs> hey, Aaliyah. Get it, get it. Okay, Please. Get, get it together. Dust yourself off. Sorry. Okay. What she said. So it is the morning of the interview. It's already almost afternoon. It's like 11.40. The interview is at 2, but they have check-in from 12.45 to 1.45. So I'm going to probably try to get there at least between, I don't see 12.45 happening, but probably like 1. Um, so that's something that I'd recommend that if you are going to be going to your in-person interview, get there. And I know it sounds crazy, but get there at least an hour before. If they allow earlier, go ahead because I promise you there are people there that are going to be getting there that early so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get ready real quick do my hair and makeup i think i'm gonna wear my hair up today um maybe in a clip or like in a little low bun all right guys i am ready so um oh thank you <laughs> i'm vlogging <laughs> uh i decided to go with just an all black suit today the same uh little heels that I had for the spirit interview just because they're really comfy. I kind of wish they weren't open back because in these pants you could definitely tell more than the other one but um, I should be okay. Uh, and then just the same white shirt that I wore for the spirit interview. Um, just very simple. It doesn't really stand out um, but it's very like well fitted and everything so I mean I do feel like I look very presentable. For jewelry, I just did some gold hoops. No rings this time. I think I put like one ring on last time, but I'm okay. And then obviously I have my watch, you can't really tell. Obviously I covered my hand tattoos. The orange color corrector like kind of like poked out a little bit more than last time. So I feel like my hands are a little orangey, but, but you can't really like tell too, too much. I don't know, as long as you can't see the tattoos. And then for makeup, obviously I just kept it really simple. And then that's it for my hair, I just, Put it in a bun trying to keep my bangs out of my face. Um, and that's it. Alright, yeah, I made it later than I wanted to. It's like almost 1.30, so obviously I didn't have time to eat or anything. But I'm going to go in here and get this done just because I'm rushing. Uh, well, not rushing, you know, I still have that little bit of time, but I want, you know, the earlier the better. So, um, yeah, here we go. Yeah, oh my god, okay, a lot going on right now. Sorry, I'm trying to multitask, so y'all are just gonna have to hang out over here. Is there anywhere I could put y'all? No, y'all are just gonna have to hang out here. Um, so, long story short, the interview ended. We're gonna get to that in a second, but um, I have to hurry up and leave and make my fucking flight. So I have to pack myself, because right now I couldn't, there's kind of close, and then there's kind of close, close, and that's what I'm doing right now. But yeah, your girl got a conditional job offer, which basically means, I got it. This was nerve wracking. Um, I don't want to sound full of myself, but with spirit, like I kind of just felt like, okay, I got it. Versus this one, like everybody in that room, and it was only 40 people. Versus like spirit was like a hiring event. So they had, it was like thousands of people, like maybe not thousands, but it was like a lot of freaking people. Hold on, I don't know how to multitask. Let me finish packing real quick and I'll come back. Okay, per usual, I never continued <laughs> vlogging. Uh, but what I was gonna say is that in comparison to Spirit, like Spirit had just probably like a thousand K. It was a lot of people. Not to sound mean, it's just, I'm very blunt and honest, but like you could instantly tell that certain people weren't that qualified um, from just 
how they were answering the questions and things versus american it was like way less people like i think it was like maybe like 30 or 40 of us if that and it's like everybody was like super freaking qualified it's very nerve-wracking because like even though like I like to think that I'm very confident. I was like, damn, like, I mean, I know I'm good, but like, they're good too. And there's no way they're hiring all these people. So, you know, you do kind of get a little bit nervous, but honestly, like confidence just goes a long way. You know, looking the part, looking presentable. And then on top of it, just answering with confidence, carrying yourself with confidence. Like just think that you already got that job. And with American, they actually took a while to get back to me uh, with training. They do have a lot of classes that basically are full and stuff like that I'm going through. I guess they are hiring a lot of new people. Like I said, my interview was what, sometime like in November, early November. And they told me that I would have like a January estimated training day, like late January. Yeah, I didn't hear back from them <laughs> until January 30th. And then from there, my class date was March 8th. Like this March 8th that just passed. Um, like I said, I last minute, not last minute, like two weeks, not even two weeks, like January 30th, like when I got my training day and I was like, oh, like crap, this is actually like going to be real. I started having like second thoughts, I guess. And that's when I really started weighing out, you know, the pay, was it really realistic of me to do this right now? And then that's when I ended up deciding not to pursue, um, a career as a flight attendant so yeah that's pretty much it um i mainly like i said wanted to put this video out here for people who are interested in being a flight attendant so you could kind of see the process and the timeline of what it looks like when you're applying to be a flight attendant i do feel very confident uh about my i guess skills going into the interview and all that so if you're interested in being a flight attendant and you guys want to see more videos i guess kind of like how to secure a cjo more specifically to prepare for an interview or any other tips that you guys might need like what to wear stuff like that just uh let me know in the comments below i wouldn't mind making more videos about it if there's an interest in it or, or if you want more information you could just leave a comment or shoot me a dm on instagram um i'll get back to either one of those so yeah guys that is all for this video thank you so much for watching as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next video